Hey, g'day. I'm on a bit of a roll today with videos. But um, as I was walking up to you through the creek, I thought, oh, maybe show you, show you these. Um, I call these a, um, an elk horn. I think they're an elk horn rather than a stag horn. So I'm not a, I'm not a, a, a botanist or anything, so I'm just sort of know what I, the info I know. But anyway, so um, you, I think you all would have seen this before, but um, this one was a tiny, tiny little one that I found in the creek. We have quite a few growing naturally around here. And the tree fell over with this tiny little, like saucer size, um, I'm gonna call it elkhorn, attached. And the tree fell over down into the creek and, and I thought, well, it's gonna be a waste. So um, all I did was just sort of took a big flat knife and just sort of peeled it off from around the tree and then put it up on the tree here. You can't see, there's not much left, but this was an old stocking that I used to just tie the original plate onto onto the tree and to see how it goes, see how it would, it would survive. And wow, look at it. It's only, I think it's only about a year since I put that on there, you know, and it's gone from little and it just seems to have boom, man. It's lo absolutely loving it. And you can see, I think I'm mean, so green, so lush. I think I've got it in just the right spot and it's awesome. It's right where I, another one of the crossings that I come on the creek and you can't miss it, you know, it's it's pretty cool. So I've got a couple of these around the property. I might just uh, try and test out my editing skills and uh, video a couple of them and just show you the different sorts that I've got because they're so cool. You have to be careful. I mean, you, I see them growing lots in the forests and stuff and you shouldn't go and take them from the forest, but I'm sure in the nurseries you can get them often attached to a board. And if you can find the right place, I mean, this is really heavy in the shade and it gets lots of um, leaves falling. I'll show you in a minute how they feed. Um, but this has got a pretty cool, pretty cool example of it. And it's just, just absolutely stunning, I think. So, yeah, I'll just show you in the leaves in behind. So, you can see in the top there, all this is just, I didn't put it there, it's just falling in there, just, just, um, you know, old leaves and stuff that's starting to compost down into there and, uh, and, and feeds the plant. Basically, it creates its own little compost bin, you know, and, uh, and, and thrives. It's a really cool example of nature, you know. It's underneath a big old tree, you know, capturing all the leaves and stuff that are falling down and away it go. I've heard stories if you're growing in your garden that you can put banana skins and stuff in the, in the top there to help, help feed it. But they're, they're really beautiful if you've got them around you know, a veranda or something like that. Obviously, you've got to be in the warmer climates, I think, because I've only ever seen them growing in the sort of more tropical, uh, or at least warmer, warmer areas. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll show you a couple of the others um, on the end of this video as well that I've got, because there's some pretty cool examples around here. Cool. Yeah, here's another really cool example. This one I was actually getting worried about. Um, it's, it's one of the bigger ones, but it was actually getting really brown. I was losing a lot of these leaves. I mean, this is just growing naturally. I don't know, this is, this is further down the creek from the other one. I didn't plant this transplanting or anything. It's just been here naturally. But here's a real monster. Look at the size of those things hanging down. You know? But now all the brownness is gone. He's looking really cool. He's got a really big... I mean, you can have a look in there better than I can. Um, massive big ball on the top there full of dried leaves and stuff that he's caught you know from the from the tree so they're pretty cool if you look up you know that's where he's capturing all his stuff from that's just coming down from the creek but yeah they're awesome I love them I say Elkhorns but I've got a couple more to show you so I'll keep cruising yeah here's number three it's probably the biggest one I've got on our property like he's right up under a pretty big bushy tree this one not such a solid tree but he's been there on his own for quite a while uh, but he's pretty cool you wouldn't even know he's here he's so so kind of tucked underneath all these trees i just kind of found it by accident one day the horses actually hang out under here a fair bit because it's nice and cool and shady so these guys definitely like it in the shade cool hey all right, cheers. It's number four. There's also a pretty, actually I'm thinking this might be the biggest one now that I look at it. Uh, I'm a bit worried about this one. This tree that he's growing on has, has pretty much died and it's all sort of falling down around the place. You can see like that's the top of it. It's all collapsed over here. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the bottom of the trunk will stay, you know, and the rest will fall over and he won't get damaged because 
it's just so big I don't know I'm scared to transplant it so I'm just gonna leave it there and cross my fingers if the tree falls over well then you know if it falls over down the bottom or something then I'll definitely have to try and transplant them and see how I go but anyway here's cool I got one more to show you it's a bit unusual so I'll uh, go and show you that one as well okay here's the last one it's a bit unusual this one I found I actually found this one uh, down the back of the property a tree had fallen over and then I found it and I don't know if you can see but it was growing just through the br a skinny branch of a tree um, I don't know where the best angle is to show you but just that skinny little branch was where it was growing that must have been attached to a tree but when the tree fell over you know it was broken off so all I did was um, just I just chopped the branch at the top and the bottom and picked the whole thing up and it's like stuck through like a big lollipop and so I brought it down here by the creek and I just hang it up, hung it up under another tree and it's working cool but it's a really cool example this is one I guess if you bought them from the nursery or something somewhere you can get them from you could probably make an arrangement like this you know it's, it's made its own hanging basket almost if you like and you see now you know it's starting to get little little discs coming off and I think this one's going to grow like into a really awesome looking elkhorn you know and the cool part is like when you look over the top it's like a massive gaping bird's nest you know it's just perfect for capturing catching all the leaves and the mulch and man there's spiders and everything down in there you know I guess there's a whole heap of organisms breaking down the waste and pro providing food for the for the elkhorn but that's gonna be a cool one you know like that's that's pretty big already um, but I think I think I've got onto something there with a whole new sort of uh, way of way of growing them so yeah it's pretty cool anyway um, I hope they didn't bore you too much I just um, thought I'd show you some of the some of the elkhorns that I've got around here they're such beautiful plants I love them so anyway cool thanks for watching see you later